Azure Functions 2.0 onward supports dependency injection, which builds on top of uh, ASP.NET Core dependency injection. Uh, before 2.0, uh, there was not really a built-in uh, support for dependency injection, but we could use other frameworks like Autofac and all. Uh, but, uh, but it was not really a straightforward way to do that. But now it is very easy with the support of uh, dependency injection um, from Azure Functions 2.0 onwards. So uh, let us, uh, this is actually a hands-on lab which shows how uh, we can do dependency injection in uh, Azure Functions. So let's jump into lab straight away. I'm using Visual Studio 2019. Uh, let's search for Azure Functions. And next, I'm going to give a name, um, say employee dot API. Okay, and create. I'm using uh, HTTP trigger. And as I'm, as we are doing just an example, I'm using um, anonymous access right. But in real time, you should you shouldn't use this until unless you have a specific reason for that. Okay, it creates uh, Azure function for me. Okay, it has created a sample uh, Azure function for me. So let's rename a bit to make it simple. Let's name this method uh, get employee name. And let's clean up a bit. We don't need all this. I'm making it pretty very simple. Uh, a function which returns just a name. Okay, so we don't need all this for now. And okay, object result. This name should come from a different method, um, and we'll inject uh, the dependency of that method uh, in this class. That's what we are going to do. Okay, so let's uh, let me keep this here. And the next thing is, uh, uh, it has a couple of prerequisites to implement dependency injection in um, Azure Function 2.0. Uh, the first one is uh, Microsoft dot Azure dot functions dot extensions and Microsoft dot net dot SDK func dot, dot functions. Uh, and the second package, which I told that should be uh, above uh, 1.0.28 or later. Okay, so let us install both. Go to manage naked packages. And the first one we need is Microsoft dot Azure dot functions dot extensions. Okay. Let's install that. Let's install the latest stable version. Okay. And the second one is Microsoft dot net dot SDK dot functions dot functions this one and we need this version to be above 1.0.28 so that's that's already been installed uh, it's already been uh, already been there but we need um, a version above this so let me update this to the latest one that is 1.0.29 And if you need to inject HTTP client, then you need an extension Microsoft.extensions.http. Uh, but we are not doing, we are not going to inject uh, an HTTP um, client here, so I'm leaving that. Uh, but for the sake of your knowledge, this is the extension for injecting HTTP. That is extensions. Okay, this one. Um, so this is the one needed to in, in, inject an um, HTTP client, but I'm not going to do that now. Okay, now we have everything. So let us 
do one thing let me create another project uh, that basically a provider new project that would be a class library uh, dot net core next okay we wanted to uh, name this the provider let me do one. let me remove this again add new project class library dot and core next and let me give the name employee dot provider and create it let me delete the default class which has been created here Okay. and I have an interface I employ okay. okay and I'm going to create a very simple method get name this is the contract and a class which implements I employ employee implements I employ okay and implement the interface and this method return a name uh, say uh, say my name which I okay a simple method now what we want to do is to inject I employee to Azure functions so let us do that uh, let me rebuild it once yeah this name uh, that's fine so uh, let me do one thing for now let me make it a hard-coded string just to build it once okay that has been built successfully now let me add uh, a reference to provider here Okay, now we need to inject I employee Okay, in just a second, that's I employee and the reference is there Okay, let me rebuild this project Okay, so the error is incompatibility the reason because this should be okay that is 2.2 and Azure functions even dot and core 2.2 that's why so let me change it to 2.2 now let me rebuild this one okay all good uh, this different error that I'll fix in some time so let me come back here and add uh, a reference to employee.provider and employee and let me create a field for that okay now we need to inject this one here so as Azure function support constructor injection the class shouldn't be static and the function shouldn't be static because it supports uh, constructor dependency injection so you need, need to create an instance of that so the, it shouldn't be static okay and we need a post not a get okay now we are all set the next thing to do is inject the dependency I employ uh, to here 
and get the name and instead of the hard coded name we want employee dot get name okay we are all set now the next thing to do is to register the service to register the service we need to create a method which we can we need to configure and add the components we want okay for that we need to create a startup class uh, basically the startup class with which Azure function should be able to uh, understand this is this is startup class and I need to resolve all the dependencies here so for that we need to create a startup class okay so let me do that add a class and let me give name of the class startup just a name startup okay and this startup class should implement a class functions dot startup sorry function startup okay that is in this namespace microsoft dot azure functions dot extensions dot dependency injection okay and we need to because the function startup is an abstract class and we need to implement the abstract method, method of that and we are we actually overriding the configure method so the i functions builder so functions host builder um, that is the method uh, sorry that that is where the usher runtime uh, automatically create the instance of i functions host builder and uh, we use that builder to resolve our dependencies okay and here we need to mention the assembly for usher to understand uh, the assembly of startup class assembly uh, so that is the namespace I put the namespace okay and assembly then we need to mention function startup okay this is startup class and that would be the type of this namespace dot startup okay what is the error here okay we missed one bracket okay and uh, as I told the usher functions host create an instance of I function host builder and passes directly uh, to this method so we are actually going to use this builder to resolve the dependencies so let me uh, delete this one okay here builder dot services dot add transient uh, because that's a lifetime of the object uh, it can be either transient or singleton or a uh, scoped I'm not not going to the lifetime of uh, uh, each of this but basically the add transient means uh, create an instance for each request so add transient we need to add this namespace again here Microsoft dot extensions dot dependency injection and here we need to resolve I employee I employee that's in provider and the implementation is employee employee dot so that is in employee dot because that's conflict between uh, both of these classes so I'm giving provider dot employee okay now we are all set let me rebuild it once okay all good um, now let me run this function functions 
and we'll test it in Postman. Okay, that has been hosted locally. Let me copy this. and uh, jump into postman this is a get request and send it's loading you can see here uh, hello and the name vj which is coming from this class okay to make it sure let us debug it once put a breakpoint here and put a breakpoint here okay let me run it once again okay it hits the breakpoint and you can see it is injecting uh, the dependency so you can see this employee dependency has been injected and let me run it came here and it, it went here and now the name here is VJ and run it so again in the postman we got the result okay that is how um, we can implement dependency injection in Azure functions thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel so that you will get further updates thank you